Hello dear viewers and welcome to our channel Pharmacy D. The content created on this channel is by professionally qualified pharmacists. In today's video we are going to talk about the drug delivery system and at the end of this video you will be able to understand how a therapeutic substance selectively reaches its site of action without treating the non-target cells, organs or tissues of your body. Contents Drug delivery system and then we will discuss its two types. The one is conventional drug delivery system and novel drug delivery system. Drug delivery system Drug delivery is the method of administering pharmaceutical compounds to achieve a therapeutic effect in humans or animals. For your convenience, I would like to add here that a therapeutic effect is a consequence of the medical treatment of any kind, the results of which are judged to be desirable and beneficial. Now moving on, most common methods of drug delivery include the oral, through the mouth, topical, skin, transmucosal, nasal, buccal, sublingual, vaginal, ocular, rectal, parenteral, injection into systemic circulation, and inhalation routes. The drug delivery system can further be divided into two main types, conventional drug delivery system and the second is novel drug delivery system. Conventional drug delivery system. Conventional drug delivery system is the classical method for the delivery of drug into the body. The examples of these systems include oral delivery, buccal or sublingual delivery, rectal delivery, intravenous delivery, subcutaneous delivery, intramuscular delivery. Oral delivery. It includes tablet, capsules, syrups, etc. taken directly through mouth and travels through GIT, gastrointestinal tract. Advantages of oral delivery. Convenience in administration, non-invasive, accurate and major dose, unit dosage form. A unit dosage form is the amount of a medication administered to a patient in a single dose. Higher compliance, cheap to the patient. Disadvantages of oral delivery. Unconscious patients cannot take dose, low permeability, degradation by gastrointestinal enzymes, first pass metabolism. You all must be wondering what first pass metabolism is. The first pass metabolism is a phenomenon of drug metabolism whereby the concentration of a drug specifically when administered orally is greatly reduced before it reaches the systemic circulation. It is the fraction of drug lost during the process of absorption which is generally related to the liver and gut wall. And the last disadvantage is irregular absorption. Buccal or sublingual delivery. Here tablets or chewing gums are placed under tongue sublingual and between cheeks buccal. Advantages bypass first pass metabolism rapid absorption, low enzymatic activity. Disadvantages, discomfort during dissolution, probability of swelling lost effect, small doses, rectal delivery. Here suppositories are placed inside rectum and it melts at body temperature to give quick effect. Here you must all be wondering what suppositories are. So suppositories are a small round or cone shaped object that you put in your body often into your bottom once it's inside it melts or dissolves and releases its medication so the advantages here for rectal delivery are bypass first metabolism and it's useful for children disadvantages is absorption depends on disease state degradation by bacterial flora and it's uncomfortable Intravenous delivery. Drug in liquid form is administered directly into blood by injecting in vein with the help of sterile injector. So its advantages are drug 100% bioavailable, rapid response, 
can administer drugs degradable in stomach and it bypasses first pass metabolism. Disadvantages are invasive, trained personal, possible toxicity due to incorrect dosing and sterility. Subcutaneous delivery. Here liquid drug is administered in subcutaneous tissue by injecting with injector. Advantages patient self-administration, slow complete absorption, bypass first pass metabolism when placed at lower part of rectum. Disadvantages invasive, irritation, inflammation and maximum dose volume is 2 ml. Novel Drug Delivery System NDDS It is a combination of advanced technique and new dosage forms which are far better than conventional dosage forms and involves medicinal devices. It improves drug potency, control drug release to give a sustained therapeutic effect, provide greater safety and target a drug specifically to a desired tissue. Advantages of NDDS over conventional The conventional dosage forms provide drug release immediately and it causes fluctuation of drug level in blood depending upon dosage form. Therefore, to maintain the drug concentration within therapeutically effective range need novel drug delivery system. Modes of NDDS Targeted drug delivery system Controlled drug delivery system Modulated drug delivery system. Number one, targeted drug delivery system. The drug is delivered in such a way that drug is only active in the target area of the body, for example, cancerous tissues, in which drug is released over a period of time in a controlled manner, example, colon targeted drug. Controlled drug delivery system. Release of drug is for long periods. In this, the rate or speed at which the drug is released is controlled by modification in formulation. Example, nifedipine. Modulated drug delivery system. Here the rate of drug release is controlled and modulated by devices such as nebulizer, MDI, meter dose inhalers, list of drug carrier in NTDS, nanosomes, liposomes, neosomes, nanoparticle, nanosphere, microsphere, microparticle, microemulsion, nanosuspension, missile. Advantages of NDDS Decreased dosing frequency, reduced rate of rise of drug concentration in blood, sustained and consistent blood level within the therapeutic window, enhanced bioavailability to achieve a targeted drug release, reduced side effects, improve patient compliance so that's all for today thanks for watching if you have any queries make sure to write them down in comment section below for more content about pharmaceutical dosage form please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel pharmacy d